Hey, what's up everyone? It's TK here. T your Doris Guard here to do a video on anime. It's been a long ass time since I did something like this and I don't got nothing to do at the moment. It's just smooth and uh, I actually don't have any at the moment. Uh, but the people should be coming today because they asked. I don't know why they delayed the junk, but I had to wait till like three days after I moved. So, um, yeah, this anime rant is brought to you by Friendly and Geeks. Well, that's that's the person name. That's his name online. Uh, so, I think it was like last week. He uh he tagged me in this post when he was talking to someone, and pretty much the guy was like. Yeah, Baruto. This these these late these latest Baruto episodes has gotten really good, and it was he he's saying this crap because of freaking action. Like the dude he was talking to was saying this crap because of act, the action scenes. Because for those who don't know, the last Baruto episodes has been some action stuff. Is pretty much the 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 Baruto movie uh, stuff was just now uh, wrapped up pretty much. And someone else I know, he told me that he heard people saying that it was that it's starting to get good. I'm like, what do you mean starting to get good? Boruto has been good from the start. This is one of the reasons why I don't really mess with I don't mess with the anime community. To be completely honest, I don't watch no people do anime videos at all. I like anime. I'll talk about anime, but I'm not going to watch anyone video on anime because of things like this. And some people just just don't like to uh, don't like to try and trying to word it right. Some people don't like to be wrong, or they they just want to be right, and they whatever they say is pretty much uh, right, pretty much. Um. I'm gonna, let, me, let me use some examples of other anime that people will say is good or maybe suck just because of uh, certain things. Alright, so I'm a, I was supposed to do a video on Tokyo Ghoul. So I'm gonna just talk about Tokyo Ghoul on this video. This is gonna be a rant type video. If you don't like rant videos, if you don't like me disrespecting your animes, if I'm disrespecting me, I ain't saying I'm gonna disrespect Tokyo Ghoul, but. I'm gonna use some examples out of this anime and other animes in general since I got some free time on my hands. Got a couple hours till the people come down here and turn this thing on so I could be back in action. But Tokyo Ghoul. I I watched it, I believe I watched it like this year, the beginning of this year. That's when I started watching Tokyo Ghoul. It's it's been on my my plan to watch list for a long time. Check out my, my anime list, TK Redor Score by the way, if you wanna check out what stuff I plan to watch and what I'm watching all that good stuff. But um, I believe I watched it at the beginning of this year, like January or something like that. I didn't even know it was going to be another Tokyo Ghoul thing until I thought I didn't finish it off and I seen the trailer and whatnot. So, first season was pretty dang good. They, I ain't gonna lie, they ass kind of, they kind of got my ass because they made Tika 2 seem like it was going to be pretty badass. I mean, it had some moments and it was, it was alright, but it wasn't as... Uh, I guess intense as I thought it would be, or good as story-wise. Um, let me, let me before I continue on, going back to the Naru, the Baruto thing. Actually, the dude that was told me that uh, he heard other people saying that was good, he didn't even think that Baruto was good either, pretty much because I guess see this they talking about fillers, 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 fillers. Well, let me tell y'all something. Fillers is not no filler. It's storytelling. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tell the story. You gotta build up and set the pieces in motion before you get into action. It seems like these anime people these days, I don't ever, see, I don't ever mess with them. I call them casuals. Y'all already know the term, filthy casuals. Y'all only watch the action stuff. Like, y'all can't just watch the action stuff and try to disrespect the anime. By saying, oh, it, it's getting good now because the action scene. You can't do that. Alright, I just want to say that, though. The storytelling is an important part. That is an important part. Both for me when I watch anime and when I play video games. Every time you hear me talk about a video game, I will talk about the story. I will take story over graphics when it comes to games. That's the same with, well, 
the, the quality of the anime is going to look pretty good in this year. But I, I like watching old animes too. But I, I prefer story over everything. So back to the uh, Tokyo Ghoul. So Tokyo Ghoul season one was pretty good. Season two, it wasn't as good as season one, but it it was still uh it was still uh what's the word? I mean it was still doable. It still I mean it had certain parts on the anime that I didn't like for that second season, but it was still a pretty good anime overall. I would say. Um, now I I watch majority majority of the 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 root or whatever the hell it's called I forgot what the I forgot the name of the what Tokyo the new season was called I think it was Tokyo Ghoul Re or something like that and that re I think that re is Tokyo Ghoul redone or let's fix it because so it's um so if you ain't watch Tokyo Ghoul I'm finna spoil it I'm finna spoil the ending of season two. You probably seen Tokyo Ghoul because a lot of these casuals and a lot of these fanboys and fairy girls are like hyping it up to the max. So the main character, pretty much, it looks like the main character gets his ass slaughtered at the end of the of the second season. It looks like they buy his ass. And then this new season came in. We got this character, and I ain't know what the hell is going on. That's, this is why I dropped the enemy. I was I watched like seven, eight episodes, trying to see if they was gonna somehow explain what the hell was going on. I didn't understand what was going on. I was lost from the start until I dropped the enemy. Um, I don't I don't know exactly what's going on. They I think they did a bet. Maybe they cleared it up at the end, but I wasn't finished the ground for those last three or four episodes. But uh. Yeah, the storytelling that last one is bad, and I think, like I said, Tokyo Ghoul Re. I think that Re is to go back and fix whatever, whatever they had done in season uh, two. Um, I think a lot of people could actually after I watched second the second season. This was back before Tokyo this Tokyo Ghoul was even announced or anything like that. This is when I watched the earlier in the, in the year and like binge watched both seasons. I looked online to see other people's thoughts of the ending of season two because I didn't really like the end of season two either. Um, if you look at Tokyo Ghoul, if you go you watch those first two seasons, it seemed like I don't know the the character's main name. I don't know his name like because I ain't really care. But um, he seemed like his role as this freaking half with this hybrid human. I mean this uh, half. Tokyo Ghoul thing, what do you want to call it? I mean, his half ghoul. I don't know why I say Tokyo Ghoul. But yeah, this half ghoul. It seemed like his part in this anime was supposed to somehow bring the humans and the damn ghouls together. If you look at it, if you go back and watch it, it seemed like they they wanted him to try to be like the person to kind of like bring them together. And uh, yes, yes, got slow at the end of season two. And then I don't know what the hell went on with that that uh that that Tokyo Ghoul re and I just dropped it so yeah but people people still highly rate this damn Tokyo Ghoul I'm talking about the new Tokyo I'm talking about the, the latest one that's that I dropped this thing is still getting pretty much pretty praised praised pretty much I don't know what what I'm saying I just don't get it damn I'm gonna talk for a long ass wait no I'm damn. Oh no man, I thought I said forty minutes. I was about to say time with my fast hell. But um yeah, that's that's one example of an anime that people say is like I say, I like season one, season two is alright. Oh yeah, my cousin oh let me bring my cousin to this. My cousin told me that season one was good and he told me season two wasn't good. Alright. Then I talked I talked to someone online before before I even watched Tokyo Ghoul, this was probably like a year or two ago, he said that both seasons are like awesome or something like that. I wonder why action scenes. These these bastards only care about action stuff. <laughs> like, oh man, it's crazy. But yeah, um, but so pretty much uh finish of what I want to say for Tokyo Ghoul. That Tokyo Ghoul Re, whatever you want to call it, that proves how P 
people didn't care about action because that that had more action than really storytelling. I didn't know what the hell was going on. The story it didn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, it seemed like these damn new anime people like they just like action because this Tokyo Ghoul is pretty high rated. Just according to the my anime list, a lot of people use the, um, the my anime list site, and uh, it's got a high, it's got a pretty high rating. And uh, I don't agree with that because uh, I grade anime upon its storytelling. Of course, that's like the main thing I I I, uh, I give a rating on the my anime list. And of course, if I enjoyed it and the characters and other elements of the anime. That's how I do my ratings on the my anime list. So go check my, uh, like I said, go check my profile, TK Doris Girl on there, and y'all will see how I rate my anime. It's a few anime that got like a nine and and up or eight and up, I should say, to be uh, exact. Um, what's what's another anime? I'm not really sh I don't remember the score, and if I had it in there, I could look it up. But Akami got killed. This is the first anime that disappointed me. The thing started off so damn convincing. It looked like it was going to be a hell of an anime. And the thing just became like a freaking... A freaking... Uh, damn, I don't got no example to use it up. <laughs> I was going to try to use an example, but I don't know no TV show... Oh, maybe, maybe I do. Maybe it's like the freaking Walking Dead. Well, even though I don't get pissed off for characters dying on the Walking Dead, because I know you got kill our characters to uh, change the change uh, the setting of the mood and uh, bring in new people and uh, and kind of improves the storyline because someone gets died, someone that was very close to them, they changes as a person and stuff like that. Uh, but Akami got killed. The first episode was pretty dang good. It, it, that first episode hooked and reeled me in because it was a very good start to it. Then episode, I actually did a video, a separate video on this. I called it my most disappointing anime or anime I don't recommend. It's another one on the list, but I'm not gonna name that one because it may be just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna name that one because this this anime probably has like mixed feelings. But personally, for me, it was uh, not the best. But this Akami at Kill is the this is the worst anime I've seen. Kind of, I, I, I gotta kind of say that's kind of like the worst or the most disappointing, I should say. Let's just keep it with the most disappointing. So Akami got killed. I don't really remember the storyline of this thing. I just know that it was this boy, which is the main character, and he's he pretty much wants to make money for his family. Uh, he's pretty poor or whatnot, and. He hears about these, uh, I believe it's like a group or whatnot, which is the, I don't know the name of it, I think it was like Blood Rainers or something like that, I forgot the exact name of it. But, uh, this girl takes him in, this is a rich girl. This is the episode that, this is the episode that pulled me in, hook, line, and sink. Uh, so, this rich girl took him in because he was poor, he had no money for the hotel and nothing like that. Turns, oh yeah, he was looking, he was looking for his friends as well, by the way, because his friends, had went on a, went um their own way and they was gonna meet up at this town. So yeah, she took him in the group that he ends up becoming ends up being in pretty much came to the house to pretty much kill this girl and her family. And dude was trying to protect her and all that good stuff and then the secret was revealed like uh, I think it's I think it's like in the back of the back of the house. They had like a freaking a shed full of dead people. He has two best friends on there, just, just barely alive. Like she, she, this this girl and family would take in people who didn't have homes and would just torture and kill them. I was like, yo, this junk is so damn lit. It seemed like it's lit. Then episodes went on. And it was it was still pretty good. And then they killed off the first character. I was like, okay, we gotta have a death. Got to kind of make the character stronger in some type of way. And then, uh, I believe they killed another character, I think. And then they brought in two new characters. And I really liked one of those characters. And then they killed her. 
And I was like, wait, why the hell are they killing all these characters? Like, like why, why y'all killing every these all the characters? And they killed them, and then they killed them, and then they killed them. And when I say this goddamn anime killed these characters, almost all they had they had some brutal type of deaths too. And they was the one character I like. They had put her head on a freaking spike. I was like, oh my goodness, well not like this. But they they legit killed the whole damn cast. It was only like two people that lived out of the whole cast. Like I said. A couple characters got killed, then they brought in new members, and then he got killed as well. And then one character pissed me off because she was hurt, and she could have went to the hospital, but she decided to die in the fucking dirty alley. I was like, are you fucking serious? That even that pissed me off even more. The main character died like two episodes before the last epi before the last uh, episodes, pretty much. I was like, what the hell was y'all thinking with this anime? He killed off every character, and someone had warned me too, but it was too late when he warned me because I was already into it. He was like, "Yo, you need to watch. I mean, you need to just read the manga because the show isn't uh, that. The show isn't good, pretty much." I was like, "I was like, I'm already kind of deep in the episodes already. I was like on episode six or something by then. I think I'm not. I'm not even sure how many episodes. I think it might have like 24 episodes. I'm not sure too sure how many episodes they had, but." I know it's kind of been deep already. I was like, this dude already done died already. I'm already kind of deep in there already. Well, like, damn. So I'm saying all this. This anime has a. I'm not. I'm not too sure how high in the how the rating is. Like, I don't remember. But I think this anime is a pretty popular anime. I think a lot of people like it. And, and why I wonder? I think it's because of action. Cause this anime had hella action. It had hella action, but the storytelling wasn't all so there. I know there was like a wanted assassination group or something like that, but um, the storytelling wasn't up to par as I thought. Cause from that first episode to maybe uh, when that first character got the first, the first character died, I think he took his suit after the dude died or something like that. It would start going downhill because I, was, I noticed, I noticed quickly that uh, that first episode was a trap because uh, it, it made me think this thing was gonna be lit. I thought it was gonna have a great storyline, but uh, it turned out to be pretty, pretty disappointing. Um, damn, that was that was a long ass rant. <laughs> um. Okay, well, some I was the main reason I did this video because I was like, oh yeah, these damn anime people, these new anime people, these filthy casuals, don't respect these animes because they, a lot of people skip anime episodes. I mean, yeah, a lot of people skip anime episodes. I know this. I know that. Uh, and they just say, oh, now the anime has gotten good because the fighting scene. I ain't gonna lie, that fighting scene when they redid the freaking battle with. Uh, what his damn name is from K Kaguya's uh, clan in Baruto. That fight was damn lit for real though. But y'all can't be just suspect the anime because they said they only saw the action before I met that first part when I said the dude, the dude I know was talking to someone who said like I just watched that uh, the action part and he skipped all the the other stuff of the anime. I'm like yo, you 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 mad disrespectful for that? Like I can't respect y'all for that. Like Naruto, I know Naruto had a lot of fillers. I watched, I watched that. Because there was some episodes that was literally kind of like filler. Like they had, uh, they had some episodes that will show you uh, when Naruto mom and dad dies. And uh, Nine Tail Fox attacked the village. They had that on a couple episodes. But it wouldn't just be a, a total flashback. Like episode, they will show that part and I'll have some other parts in it as well, you know. But yeah, people just like to skip episodes. I, I actually know some other people that they uh they was doing an anime a suppose of Naruto anime marathon. You know to them uh, they watch this or listen to this. I hopped into the rabbit. They was watching uh, the pain fight. After that pain fight in it I saw them skip a couple of I was like, wait, wait, what the hell? I looked the rabbit me. I was like Nah, y'all can't be doing it like y'all can't be doing Naruto like that. Y'all can't just watch it. 
action scene and then just go to the next one. Like, I, I don't mess with it. <laughs> I can't, I cannot do that, yo. That's, man, this is bad, fool. But, um, yeah, either, um, I kind of want to talk about the Hunter Hunter, the 2011 one. I watched the OG, I never watched the 2011 one, but I seen a clip that had some major changes in it, and I kind of want to, I kind of want to go in on it, but I don't know too much of that version to go in on it like that. But it looks like that one is for the freaking casuals. The OG one, I think it's like 1980 something that came. That's when the first, that one came out. I think it was really good. But this this 2011 one from this from what I've seen, it looked like they made it more action packed wise. And they trying to get y'all. They, they it's for those casual viewers out there. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna talk on that because like I said, I haven't seen too much of it. But I, I would like to do a rant on it, but I'm not gonna watch it. So, but I don't appreciate. They had freaking Gone. I'm just gonna say this: Gone. He's the main character of Hunter x Hunter. Like I said, I ain't watched 2011, but I seen a clip. I happened to see a clip one day because someone I know was um doing the IRL stream on YouTube. And he was looking at random YouTube clips, and I happened to see this. They had Gone go the freaking incredible Hulk, and he was from the Bison one. Now, if you watch Hunter x Hunter, the original, Gon would not kill no one. He's the most pure-hearted character. He would not kill no one. If you watch that damn 2011 clip that I seen, he was finna buy this guy. <laughs> and he went to Crabble Hope. What the hell he's doing bulking up, going freaking Hope on someone? Like, yeah, that's all I have to say. But, um... I think that's pretty much it for the rant. I think that's all I pretty much got to say for the rant. I don't respect anyone who skips anime episodes. I just can't respect you. I cannot respect you if you skip these episodes only to watch the action stuff. Now, pretty soon, I'm finna do the ultimate marathon, yo. I'm calling it ultimate marathon because I'm finna, well, I'm not exactly sure if I actually watch all of it. I gotta see if I'm actually gonna be able to get into the anime. But it's one anime out there that I've been wanting to watch for the longest. Start to ongoing, cause the anime is still going on. One Piece. We coming for you, sucker! <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I, I kinda wanna, I wanna, I wanna do an uh, ultimate marathon for One Piece, watching each episode. To the ongoing, I played One Piece games before, but I never got into the show, never watched the show, so I'm gonna try to do a marathon. On that I'm not gonna say, oh, the anime is good because the action. I'm gonna be saying, oh, the anime is good because of the storytelling. Oh yeah, and wait, did I talk? I, don't, I think it's really gonna be extended. I was just gonna wrap this up, but I just thought about something. Attack on Titan. That is the number one casual anime out there. When Attack on Titan first was getting that that big talk I was like what the hell this casual ass anime I, I knew that it had I just knew that you, it was giant people running around naked eating people that's all I knew from it uh, this casual ass anime I would see people that do gaming videos that I know do not watch some anime cause they has only play those do bro games, the the shooters, the basketball games. So I know no, there's no way in hell that your ass is really a real anime fan. If you just, cause like they they, they had like an anime poster of the Tech Titan. That was the only poster they had of the of anime. I'm like, yeah, this casual ass motherfucker. <laughs> and then like it was like it was, it was like two or three years after Attack on Titan here. I like, you know what? This thing is getting hella talk. I'm gonna sit down. And I'm gonna watch that first season. This before season two came out. By the way, I love season two. Season two started off a little. It started off a little creepy, but that story on season two is lit. I watched the. I think I watched the live action first. Actually, live action is different from the anime because uh, Mikasa is like not close with Aaron at all, and she's with Levi. She's pretty much like live with Levi for some years, or something like that. It's a whole different uh, plot. On that one, but it kind of sticks to the season as well. But 
I watched the first the first uh, season of Attack on Titan. Like I said, this is before season two even was out. I was watching it. I was like, okay, okay, we watching it. We watching it. I'm like, alright. Yeah, you had, you had a little bash and stuff in it. I was like, okay, okay. Now, when it got to that one part, when it was like, um, couple of, I believe this is when they, this is like around the part when the, the the female Titan first popped up, and I think she had kidnapped Aaron, I believe. Or she was trying to, I forgot, I forgot she actually successfully kidnapped him or not, I forgot what happened. But I know it was like, there's one point, they was trying to figure out, they was like, who's this female Titan, where did she come from? And I think they had, they saw something that was similar to her as one of the human people, because they didn't know that the Titans can, Titans was humans, they didn't know that at this point. And that girl... When the girl found out that they knew it was her, she went to the freaking Titan form, and I ain't gonna lie, it was the action point that pulled me in. But it was the act, uh, it was a story in action, I should say, because that action part was pre lit. And this is towards the end. Of the episode, this is towards the end of the season. It was probably like episode nine or something. So it wasn't that much episodes left when I, whenever I actually legit got into it, because when I found out other humans was actual Titans could turn into Titans. Cause we know that Aaron could do it too, but we just thought it was like some type of mistake or something. They was showing flashbacks of his dad doing experiments, so we were trying to make us believe it was something to do with dad or something like that. But when her ass went in time for him, and they just start that action part just started going in, it was lit. Like I said again, the action was rare. Was well, the action? I mean, the action wasn't the main thing that really reeled me in. That story was real mean. Okay, we got people that can turn into titans. That, that's not like they're just living in the walls normally. You know what I'm saying? They they just I don't know why we know why like they, they're uh, living within the walls, but they're attacking people and still stuff like that. And then the end of the that last episode, season one, the wall cracked and we had a titan inside the damn wall. I was like, yo. That thing, that, jump, that is the part that really hooked me at the end of the episode when we saw a freaking Titan and saw the wall. I was like, yo, when season two dropping though. But yeah, uh, it took me a couple of episodes again, season two. But once that story started unfolding again, when it's talking about Historia, and then uh, I don't know the other character's name, but I think her name was Yermir or whatever her name was. And the Armored Titan who happened to be that guy that they was always with. I think there was like a, their, uh, I think it was like a captain or something. I'm not, if I'm not uh, wrong, and there was the other dude that was with him. He was a Titan too. I was like, yo, the, the plot is thickening. The plot is unraveling even more and it's hooking me in more slowly. And I just got done watching season, I mean, episode two for uh, season three. Um, I'm not too sure of how I feel. I didn't like, the first episode was boring. And the story, like the storytelling, like I was kind of confused, because you know, like the last episode, of season two, I believe, like Aaron had somehow commanded the Titans to go away. I think, I believe that's what happened. He kind of commanded them to like go away, or he, or he controlled them, or something like that. And then this this new season, like they, you just saw them hiding out in this place, like they're on the run. We don't really know why. Well, they didn't really explain it. They, they could have did like a little recap or something like that, but uh, yeah, I'm still uh, trying to see how I feel about the season three of the Attack on Titan. But yeah, it's all about storytelling, people. It's all about storytelling. So, like I said earlier at the beginning, I mean, so like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know what the hell, what the hell I'm using for the for footage on this video because I ain't record the crowd. But uh, I might just use the stream footage from Twitch or something. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I can't respect anyone that skips episodes. And when it gets to a good part, you say, oh, now the anime is good again. You're talking about, oh, it's filler episodes. Yo, it ain't filler episodes. It's storytelling. Now, this is what I would consider a filler episode. The episode when Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura is trying to see... Kakashi's eye, his other eye, or his face. I mean, yeah, his face, my bad. They're trying to see his face, cause he always used to wear the mask. Well, he still wear the mask, but 
the face mask for it. So that is considered a filler. But how people are talking about oh, the Baruto episodes are fillers. Like, ain't no goddamn filler. It's storytelling. It's freaking introducing these characters. All we knew from the Baruto movie was it was Baruto. Uh, he's gonna become Sasuke's student. Uh, he's uh, a Kats. I forgot how to pronounce it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Kaguya's a uh, little clan members will pop up. Uh, uh, was Shikadai on the movie? I forgot who was on the movie, but we we wasn't even introduced to the, that many characters on the movie. We just it was just the main characters pretty much. Now, beginning by Ruto, we was introduced to all these new characters. We had to get the background story of these characters. Samir, which uh, her family was a, uh, well, her dad was working on um working with Donzo uh Awabi he's like this this guy that he's he's good physically skilled but his he's not book smart so he had failed a couple of times uh, Dinky he's his dad runs like some technology thing and uh, he he wants to be a ninja he's and he's pretty much not well he's just he's just learning you know he's trying to get up there um, who else we could say, uh, just got announced to uh, Shinky, I believe, they, I think his name is Shinky, right, uh, the guy was adop adopted son, you know, he was, uh, I think he was close to death or something like that, and, uh, Gara brought him in, things like that, but, like, they're building up the story, uh, if you, if you watch Aruto, you know, uh, the, um, the white Zetsu junk, like they, yes, it got down forged, fused, freaking white Zetsus lurking around in these places that could lead to, lead traces to uh, Kaguya's uh, clan and stuff like that. Sasuke was out there researching. We see certain parts on episodes and Sasuke is investigating different underground tunnels and stuff like that, palaces and crap like that. So it's not fillers. Like we're getting. They are building up to something and they're telling the story. It's not fillers. Like, come on, get the fuck out of here. Don't ever disrespect my brother so ever again. But I'm done with this rant video. I don't just, I, don't, I can't respect y'all. I can't respect y'all, y'all. Call episodes fillers and skip and only watch the action stuff. Um, what else I was going to say before I end the video? Okay, once again, check out my mind anime list. TK with Dora Score. This is the same as uh, here on YouTube. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what I was going to say if I end the video. I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why I don't really post anime videos like that either. Like, I don't really care about these so-called anime people thoughts because they only care about action. And majority of the, and I probably won't get that much views either because no, majority of people that do the anime stuff or they, they they watch uh like most of the popular people I should say. Most of the popular YouTubers that do like anime stuff. Some of them it might have some real ones out there. But majority of them are just fake casuals. They know damn well they don't be watching all those episodes. They just watch action stuff and they try to speak on it and try great animes. Cause there's a lot of videos of people with great animes and I guarantee you they're agreeing it based upon action. But I'm TK, Tigger Door Squad, thanks for tuning in. Till next time.